hello 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 hi guys so I'm at my crafting table I woke up this morning and my back was feeling a lot better I mean it's still painful but I can move a little bit so I thought I wouldn't go crazy I would limit myself to one crafting session one small crafting session sorry about my table I will clean it up when I'm completely okay but one crafting session um, at my table um, a day until my back is completely better like not niggling at all so I thought I would come on because these are so super quick okay so I made I made these using the tutorial from Pink Strawberries. Um, I changed up. I changed up one of the measurements, I think, on there. Um, because it just made more sense to me. Um, so, yeah. So we've got this little vellum pocket in each of them. And then on the back, you've got this lovely big back pocket. And then inside, you've got this lovely space to decorate. And then a thinner pocket. And a, a medium pocket. <laughs> so that's that. I haven't decorated any of these. I need to. But I'm just going to go through the basic um, structure of making it rather than decorating it so that I can keep this video nice and short but these are really so simple to make I will link the uh, I will link pink strawberries channel down below if uh, YouTube lets me so you can check out um, her video on it as well um, so basically you need a 12 by 12 sheet okay and we're going to score it at four and at nine and then I'm just gonna turn it to the other side and again score it at four and at nine so you want to have it so that you are um, you've got your thinner um, marks that you've scored you want to have them on your left ha left hand side because it's going to fold over like that okay now we're going to or well, I'm going to just cut out these score lines up to that score line just to make it fit nice and fold nicely and I think that she did this little bit slightly different but I mean I always cut the score lines and I find that 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 works if you just cut out the score lines there's enough room and then I'm going to spin it round and do the other side just up again to that score line And I'm going to turn it round again. We do not need 
this anymore so I'm going to pop that away okay and now I'm going to just while it's at this stage I'm going to go around and I'm going to just round off those corners <clears throat> But this is just preference, as always, you can leave them angled if that is your preference. It's not important to the structure of it or anything like that, obviously. Right, and then I'm going to just cut a little notch while I've got it like this, because it's a bit easier. And I'm just doing them on the bottom ones. Okay, so I've still got my smaller section on my left hand side and then I am going to fold up all of the the score lines and fold it in and that's that one done and then I'm going to go to the other side and fold this one. And fold it in. That's that, like that. And then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to just do these ones. Oh. So that will be how my folder will look so far. Now I'm just going to glue those pockets down if I can find my glue. Ah. Oh dear. <laughs> I see an issue here. Okay. Maybe even a small project was a little bit too soon. Um, I will just finish up this though because I've started now. I've started so I'll finish as they say on Mastermind I think it is. I'll start, I've started so I'll finish when if the brother goes before he's finished asking the question. I think it's mastermind. Did um, anyone used to watch uh, The Krypton Factor? I used to love The Krypton Factor. I remember it's like one of my favourite memories is watching The Krypton Factor with my dad. And we used to just sit there and yeah, try and answer all the questions. Say what a better job we'd do. <laughs> But yeah, it was like, a, for those that didn't used to watch it, it was a, uh, a quiz show where you would, oh, it had a bit of everything. So you'd have like puzzles, questions, um, and, uh, and like um, obstacle courses to do. So it was like a bit of you had to you had to do a bit of everything for it for your win and it was really good I used to really like it right okay so there are my pockets glued and then um oh, hello bunny and then I uh, did sort out this but I think that actually it's going to be a bit busy for, for that one I was just going to use that again I think I need something not so busy so oh, ah. So 
So I've got this, which is actually paper that I made myself, which might suit because it's not that busy. So I made it from a napkin. I just, what I did was I put a carrier bag down. Uh, I laid one bit of the napkin out. What's it called? One, one ply, one little sheet, one thin sheet of the napkin out. And um, it was, I think it was two parts glue to one part water. And it was just PVA glue that was basically, I had watered down. And then I went over it, went over it until it was completely see-through. And then I peeled back the edges a little bit so it was easier to get up. And then I left it to dry. And when it dried, it's like this kind of really strong rice paper. But it's quite cool, I think. And I like the texture of it. It's got so much texture where it's like wrinkled. You can spend time not making sure it doesn't wrinkle. But I definitely think I'll do this again um, because I've got so many napkins <laughs> that I think it would look quite cool making this paper. And I also want to um, actually make paper at some point. I really need to get one of those things. Or I've got this, which might look nice. Oh. Is that too busy? It could work with the butterfly, because the butterfly is kind of bold and standing out. Um. Right, I think I'm going to go with the butterfly. And here is my reasoning. Because this is kind of like crinkled and stuff like that, I think that it would work better on like a, a shabby chic kind of look. Um, whereas these are quite clean cut stripes. So I think that the bold of that works better. That's my reasoning anyway. So I'm just going to cut out. I'm going to be careful not to cut out that little diddy one because that is so cute. I want to use that. Even up this line if I can because I'm rubbish at cutting straight lines. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go round with glue like that and I'm trying to be quite quick so it doesn't because vellum has a tendency to kind of curl up and I don't want it getting used to being curled and I'm just rubbing out the glue a little bit on there, making sure that I'm not going to glue the flaps together. Okay, and then I'm going to put that inside my heavy book. I'll just quickly run through it again. So this is the front with the vellum pocket, and then you open it up, and you've got two like envelope pockets here and here. Nice space for decorating or writing. And then a nice big pocket in the back. 
So see, super duper simple. Really so simple. Um, and I'm going to pop this at the back of my notepad just so that vellum dries without curling. And that, that's it. That, that is the only reason, really. Um, but yeah, these um, like pen pal sort of pocket folders are so super simple to make. I really, really love them. Um, and I'm going to um, go back to bed now and try and decorate these while I'm in bed. But I didn't think that the decoration bit really was necessary to show you how to make them and it would just make the video longer and me sit here longer and I wanted to make this nice and quick. I will be putting this up for um, Sat Morning Sat Morn Makes that is hosted by Jill Norwood um, so I will be tagging that so it's hashtag sat morn makes and it's an open collab and it is hosted by Gillian Norwood and um, it's basically for you to show uh, what you have been creating um, and if you click on the hashtag you will get lots and lots of inspiration from all the wonderful crafters um, and pop along to uh, Jill's uh, channel definitely because she is a truly amazing and uh, talented crafter and she has lots of tips and tricks. If you want to share what you have been creating just use the hashtag and make sure that you um, tag the host. Okay guys well I will say thank you for watching um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Love you. Bye.